Okay, guys, um, my camera cut me off before I was able to finish the hair. Um, but I was talking about how you want to think of the hair as more of masses um, than individual strands. I address this by doing a few things. I'm going to get real close here with the tools. This might be a little bit more helpful. Um, one thing that you can do is really dig into that um, the hairline there and pull the clay out. That's going to create volume. It's going to create the texture that you want. Um, again, a few, one thing that I do use to kind of create the texture that I desire is just a sanded down popsicle stick to where it's nice and thin and almost frail. It'll bend with the clay and it creates like a hair like texture because it's not even, it's not perfect. I like to use that and kind of press that into the clay as well to create a hair texture. Um, you can also use your handy dandy scraping tool to kind of pull some of that clay in the right directions and kind of define some hairlines. Like I said, think of it more of as, as a mass than anything. Um, you'll remember I drew that hairline. I applied this hair along that hairline to look as if it was being pulled back towards the ear, okay? I also went back through and drew all of those lines I was talking about before when we first started the sculpture. So we've got the eye line here that comes across the face. We've got that center line still that's drawn here. Let me redraw that on the top. Okay. Um, we've got our five eyes across the face. That five space. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That part's a little tricky to understand, um, but I think you'll see what I'm talking about once you get started. All right, we've got the nose line down where that nose meets the face. We've got the, the line for the mouth. That's going to be where that um, lip parts. And then we've got the line for the chin, okay? Um, also, line from the center of the eye meets down to the corner of their mouth. Line from the corner of the eye meets down to the corner or to the edge of the nostril, okay? And then we've all got, also got that line here. For the eye line, that's gonna be where your ear meets your head. So that's where it's going to attach. It's not where the top of the ear is, it's where the ear attaches to the head, okay? So a few things I see that are wrong with this, and I'm gonna post um, images of it in our discussions whenever I'm finished with it. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me fiddle and fool around with it. But um, I do think that the lips are a little bit big. You can kind of see from the side here. They're a little large. I'm probably going to push that back a little bit. Um, but you'll see that I'm working in generalities. I'm not focusing too much on one part more than the other. So I'm not focusing on the eyes and then coming back to them and being like, oh, that's way off. I'm going to work all over a little bit at a time, okay? That way some parts aren't drying out too much as I'm going. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about anything and I hope this is helpful. All right. Miss you all. Bye.